y'all we'll get started this is our 10 a.m this is lesson three uh, we're having to speed it up this week because monday was memorial day we'll try to get through a lot of of the pages of the workbook we've been doing this on the whiteboard uh, but this week because we were a day short uh, usually monday through friday for those of you new monday through friday at 10 a.m we go through the the basic program uh, usually we do that in conjunction with the uh, fast track videos uh, we want everybody to go through those fast track videos, take the test, pass the test, earn the fast track badge. These are like companion support pieces to those. Um, so we can answer questions, help you learn, help you personalize. Well, we, we, will, we will be going through the workbook this week, though. So I'm going to get that pulled up. Everybody has access to a digital workbook. Boom, boom, boom. Okay. Good morning. All right. So going to resources and digital books and our workbook. So far, we've worked through our why, who, who we are in the Lord. We've come up with our reasons. We've talked a lot about the diet devil. We've probably given him too much attention. He's not worthy of our attention, but we do have to be aware of him as an adversary. We did start with the bulletproof shield. <clears throat> Real quick, our six components to the shield. We almost got those in order yesterday. Cindy did, but not quite. So we want water and journal. If we're going to fuss about drinking water and journaling, it's not a critique. It's just the truth. Probably not ready to lose weight. Um, those are the two easiest components. We need to get a half a gallon to a gallon of water in. And if we bite it, we write it. That's That journal super important. I've never known a single person that lost considerable weight and then kept it all off without a journal. I've not known one. 20 years, tens of thousands of people. They may be out there, but I haven't met them where they lost all of their weight and kept it all off without gaining some or most of it back without a journal. Then you got food combinations for insulin control. You have to control insulin. You don't control insulin. It's whatever you're losing and gaining, it's all an illusion. The scales are lying to you. It's growth hormone. It's fat storage hormone. We have to control it whether we're eating a prepackaged item that fits our formula or whether we're combining whole foods. Um, got to make sure we control that insulin. Then you have your portions. Eat up to three eating episodes a day. Breakfast for the Father, lunch for the Son, dinner for the Holy Spirit. That's biblical. Whatever we do, whether we eat or drink, do it all into the Lord. You're not here for your own pleasure. You're here for the Lord's pleasure. And uh, it's it's a better life, actually. Uh, we're supposed to be a corpse. When we, when we come to the knowledge of the truth, um, I'm supposed to be a dead man. I no longer live, but he who lives lives within me. Uh, that that's the idea. Uh, certainly we have to contend with the flesh, but that is the idea. So the, the, as I decrease, he can increase. So I want to eat for him. I, I don't want to overindulge. That makes me sick, unhealthy, and unhappy. Uh, up to three eating episodes is best. If you need a fourth, you can do that, but you probably won't lose much weight. Still allowed though. Um, you've got your six to eight inch plate rule, two hand rule. Um, you've got your timing rule, which says a 12 to 16 hour fast. In the book, it says four to six hours, spread those meals out four to six. That's fine. But I have uh, leaned more into fasting. So at least a 12 hour fast, including sleep. And then we want to work towards a 16 hour fast. Then it doesn't matter how close our eating episodes are together. Then lastly, big star here, bless the name of the Lord. Give thanks. Give thanks. I'm convinced that we are all... Those that think we're not happy, we just think that. We're actually very happy. We just don't know it. Compare yourself to other people and other cultures. We've pretty much got it made. Even on days where we do the OMAD, like Cindy's doing, one meal a day, that's more food than most people get uh, in two or three days uh, in different regions of the planet. We're very blessed and favored, so we want to be thankful. We only have two types of days. 
certainly there's the tiger days. There's the lion and shark days. There's IMF days. Those are all perfect days. They're just a different uh, extreme type of perfect day for faster weight loss or better health or whatever, but there, it's a perfect day. We're eating uh, the right calories and we're controlling insulin. We're being sober and vigilant. And then you have the holiday. Uh, anything that steps outside of our boundaries is a holiday. If we so much as lick the cheese dust off a of dirty Dorito, that's a holiday because after the lick goes the crunch, after the crunch goes the bag. So don't get close to the fire. We read about the one in the Bible. He would off get close to the Doritos and cast himself into them. Anybody ever read that? It's in King James Version. Yep, the, the, he, would, he would often get too close to the fire and cast himself into it. And uh, he, he, he was called a lunatic in the Bible. I have to be honest, I've exhibited lunatic behavior when it comes to Oreos and Reese's before. Uh, I get close to them and I can't stop. So it's best just to stay away from those things until it's time to have a holiday. Okay, uh, then we, we get into the components themselves and we go through why do we need water? Staying properly hydrated allows for the chemical messaging, messaging to take place that needs to take place in our body. Everything we eat, everything we drink requires hydration to fully metabolize the right way. Hydration will prevent headaches, helps in metabolizing fat. You can't even uh, burn fat efficiently without water. Uh, removes fat, removes toxins, provides elasticity to the skin, improves muscle tone, satisf satisfies hunger. A lot of times we've heard through the years that when we think we're hungry, we're really just thirsty. And it's true. It improves kidney function, combats fatigue, combat, uh, combats depression. Journaling. I don't really need to say more about that. Y'all are either going to believe me or not. It may be the most important component outside of the last one. Bless the name of the Lord. Uh, it's just so important that you journal. I've been journaling on paper uh, in digital formats for 20 years. Uh, anytime I took a brief hiatus from journaling, I put back on weight. You just got to make it a part of your daily method of operation, your DMO we bite it, we ride it, we hog it, we log it. Here's the part that really confuses people. Uh, it, it, if you didn't like math in school, that looks a lot like math, but it's really not math. We have children that learn to do this because they're not intimidated by it. Your red column is your fastest fat loss combinations. When folks uh, message me and they say, would you give me a meal plan that will help me lose weight very, very rapidly because I have something I'm trying to get ready for? And I say red column, and they're like, I have no idea what you're talking about. It doesn't get any better than red column combinations on a portion plate. In fact, as we've been unpacking in some of the other lessons, uh, Cindy's brought it out, others have brought it out. When we do red column the right way, we never even leave fat burning, not even when we eat, because your body needs so much fuel to even break these down. In the new book, I list tens and tens and tens. I forget how many. It's a lot. A lot of meal ideas just from Red Column. Now, again, we're focused on whole foods, which we should be centric. In, uh, whole food eating should be centric to our lifestyle anyway. But here you can fix a hot dog. You can do the standard chicken and broccoli. You can do a uh, hamburger steak patty with green beans. I mean, it, you've got so many options right here in the Red Column for efficient fast fat burning. Yellow column's almost as good. In fact, negative two, negative three meal replacements because they're portion controlled for you, they may be better than anything in the red column because you're able to control uh, your, your portion. The negative two, negative three, uh, the lower the number, the better. So when you see our weight loss meter, the lower the number, the better. The higher, it's still approved, but if you have too much of a high number, you'll start seeing a slowdown in your weight loss results over time. Uh, so you got your steak and asparagus here. You've got your pinto beans and collard greens, all kind of fun stuff. The blue column is the combinations that's, that's life-saving. The blue column is what turned this into a lifestyle for me. Um, these lifestyles that say get rid of carbs, they're incorrect you're gonna destroy your gut health 
over the next two years if you do that. Um, you have to be careful eliminating a macronutrient that your body needs. I call this also the craving category, the craving column, blue column, uh, because this is going to teach me how to have my corn, how to have my potatoes, how to have tomatoes, how to have lima beans and peas and all those carbohydrate that people are afraid of. Because what we're doing is surrounding that carbohydrate with a lean protein and a fiber that slows that blood sugar elevation down. So fruit, for example, I love fruit. So I could have me an approved sandwich with an apple. I'm having, a, a let's say I'm having boar's head turkey breast with the approved category two bread or a, a category two wrap. And then I have an apple. Perfect. Um, let's say that um, I've got potato. I want some potato. I've got a grilled chicken breast with approved barbecue sauce, some green beans, and a potato using the right condiments. This is the life-saving column. This is the lifestyle column. You need your carbohydrate. You just have to limit your carbohydrate depending on your goal. When you get your goal of maintenance, so we can have fruit by itself. I don't know if y'all knew that, but you can have an apple. I'd much rather you have an apple than a, a peanut butter patty from Health Smart. From, from a health and wellness standpoint, but not a weight loss standpoint. Let me pause that there. Does that make sense what I'm saying? When we're trying to lose weight, it's more about insulin control. So I'd rather have a health smart peanut butter patty as a snack. When I'm in maintenance, I'd much rather choose an apple by itself because of all the nutrient value that's in that, in that apple. It, it's, that's nature's candy right? I'd rather do that. But if I do that while I'm trying to lose weight, I'm going to see a profound pause in my weight, in my fat loss. Does that make sense, everybody? All right, I'll keep going. So we're learning our food combinations. And until you learn them, there's a plethora of meals that we, we've already uh, um pinned down that you can get hold of as well. You, if you're a partner or a faithfully fit member, um, you have access to that new meal planning feature. That's fabulous. And it's going to just get better and better over time. It will, based upon your likes, it will give you uh, options, teach you combinations too. So portions, let's get into portions, your portion rule. Okay. You must eat from a six to eight inch plate or you must use the two hand rule. Okay. Our snacks approved snacks are for like mental weakness when we, when we have a moment of mental weakness. So I'm going to stop here. Let's assume I'm eating off a six to eight inch plate or eating the right calories. Can I do the following? I, it's a, I just woke up and I have an approved snack for breakfast. Instead of a meal, I have an approved snack for lunch. I have an approved snack. I have Halo Top ice cream. Then for dinner, I have an approved meal, and that's all I have for the day. That's three eating episodes. It's two snacks, one meal. Can I do that? I didn't graze between meals. I was craving that ice cream. Can I do that? Two snacks and a meal? Yes. Some of you. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, that's optimal. That's optimal. Could I do this? I'm giving you some crazy ones. Could I do this? Could I have a, an approved snack for breakfast, for lunch, and for dinner and call it a day? Yes. Yeah, I don't want to do that often. What What macronutrient would I not be getting in enough of if I did that every day? Probably carbs. Protein. So snacks are typically going to be a little heavier percentage wise in carbs, but we wouldn't be getting an adequate protein over time. Two or three days of that, not going to hurt me. Um, could I do this? Could I have two meals? Could I have an egg white omelet, some Wendy's chili? And then for dinner, I'm, I got a queasy stomach and I just have a little halo top ice cream with a peanut butter patty in it. And it's a snack. Could I do that? Two meals in one snack. Yep, I could. Could I do this? Could I get up, have a uh, some AHS pancakes for breakfast, 
for lunch, eat me an approved sandwich with some Quest chips. For dinner, make me a hot dog that's approved with a category two bun and then have under 200 calories of popcorn. That's three meals and one snack for the day. Could I do that? You sure could. That's what I call maintenance. So sometimes in our journey, <clears throat> we punt. If you know anything about football, we don't want to commit a turnover. So sometimes it's about getting out of the day without setting ourselves back two more days, right? So if you got a lot of weight to lose, you can get away with three meals and a snack a day. But if you don't have a lot of weight to lose, then you can't get away with that. Um, what about this? Let's do one more. So I get up in the morning, I have an approved shake because I'm in a hurry. For lunch, I have a Fit Crunch bar. Between lunch and dinner, um, I have raw carrots and raw broccoli with just a little bit of hummus. I get hungry again at 4 p.m. I have a bran crisp bread with one piece of fat-free cheese. Then I have dinner, which is Travis's spaghetti. And then I have a snack that is uh, peanut butter patties while I'm watching a movie. I can't get rid of the cravings. I can't help myself. And then I have sugar-free jello. So I had like six or seven eating episodes. Could I do that? Uh, yeah, there's some freebies in there and extra. And uh, I don't know. I'd have to write all that down. But yes, I think you actually could. You actually could. Yeah, you actually could. So I had a couple of extras in there that I have to watch. The brand crisp bread with fat-free cheese is basically a freebie. Um what was the other one I said? Oh, broccoli and carrots with a little hummus. Just a little, not much. Uh, those were freebies. Uh, Sugar-free jello was a freebie. So let me give you one more because I've seen some nose flashing up. The only thing that was questionable there, I may not have, I may not should have included two extras, but it's still fine. Brand crisp bread is a freebie. And a piece of fat-free cheese is like 15 calories, 20 calories. Um, it's not a weight loss day. It's a punt day. We didn't commit a turnover. So for illustrative purposes, could I do this? So I have an egg white and spinach omelet for breakfast. I have six egg whites, boiled egg whites between breakfast and lunch. I have Wendy's chili for lunch. <clears throat> I have six more boiled egg whites with salt and pepper on them between lunch and dinner. For dinner, I have Travis's spaghetti recipe. And then after that, I have six more egg boiled egg whites. And then after that, I have some sugar-free jello. Could I do that? It's a lot of food. Yep, you can do that. Boiled egg whites are freebies. Everything that we grazed on was freebies. Do we want to do that? No. Let me tell you what's going to happen if you do that. Even though it's allowed when we get in a, a mental pickle. We get in a mental pickle. Instead of committing a turnover, you focus on those freebies you can have and just get through that day. That's a win. Um, if you keep doing that, what you're not doing is breaking the habit of grazing. You're not, you're, you're, so those egg whites, will they later become potato chips? Yes. They, I promise you, they will. You'll turn those grazing events into the wrong thing. So just be careful with that. Any questions about any of that? Ain't nobody ever looked. That's right, Penny says. Nobody ever looked in the mirror and said, I got to back away from the boiled egg whites. <laughs> it's not happening. Everybody good? All right. Fun program. All right, daily timing. This one's easy. <laughs> daily timing. Don't eat for 12 hours a day. That's all there is to it. Don't complicate it. You're going to, when you get done at the end of the day, you set your timer on your phone and you don't eat again until at least 12 hours have expired. That's the rule. Try to get to 16 hours. It helps with wellness, helps with immune system, helps with autoimmune issues, helps with uh, longevity. Uh, that's called intermittent fasting. And we're trying to stick to nothing but water or zero calorie beverages during our 
non-eating windows. Uh, then when the eating window opens up, that's when we get in our eating episodes. That will really help you a lot, um, intermittent fasting in that way. So we're trying to get at least 12 hours. That gives a 12-hour eating window. That's really uh, not enough time, actually. Uh, it takes anywhere from 8 to 36 hours to fully digest a meal and go through all four phases of digestion. We're not giving our bodies time enough to heal even at 16 hours. Food takes a toll on the human body. We need it, but we don't eat like our ancestors did. They, they ate one meal a day, if that. Sometimes they would only eat once every 72 hours. So uh, our bodies are designed to eat a meal, digest a meal, rest, recover. That That's when you'll see your health thrive. Start with 12 hours. Work into those others. We've got Tiger 36. You should play around with those. Assuming um, you're under a doctor's care if you're diabetic, you should play around with the Tiger 36 days. Weekly timing chart. This is one of the fundamental parts of our program. <laughs> the weekly timing chart shows the time you spent in EFB. Uh, this is one of the things I'm most proud of regarding the program because if I'm on the honor system and I'm marking my days correctly on the honor system, this chart tells me how much time each week, each month, I'm spending in efficient fat burning mode. Uh, two perfect days in a row, now we're in EFB. So you got fast weight loss, just do the right thing more than the wrong thing, because I think all fat loss is fast fat loss. Then you've got faster, where you take a day or two off a week, and then you've got the fastest, don't take days off. Don't take days off and you'll just melt and you will get your metabolism. You'll turn it into a fat adapted metabolism. Here's all the type days we have. They're a lot of fun. We're actually adding more type days uh, as we venture out into clean eating. So learn about these days. A lot of people say, why did you have to complicate it? Well, these all have specific purposes, but what happens when you get bored with a diet anyway? What happens? Every diet you've ever done that worked, you get bored with it, right? Most people get bored with it. We're not getting bored with ours. There's something new to learn about nutrition all the time. And I don't have to be a carnivore for the rest of my life to enjoy the benefits of carnivorism. I do not have to be a vegan to enjoy the benefits of being a vegan the rest of my life. We can do it with this program. And it'll be healing, it'll be refreshing, it'll be fun. Turn it into a challenge from time to time. What is a calorie? Uh, I'm gonna pause there. We're about out of time, about time to go to the members only class. We'll break into what is a calorie, macronutrients, all kind of fun stuff coming up. We'll try to speed through that tomorrow. Any questions or comments? Any, anything, any help that you need? This is our free session. It's free to the community, but it's a great reinforcement of the basics of our program. Watch the fast track videos, take the test, pass the test and earn the fast track badge. Anybody, questions, comments? Everybody good? Will we stay here for the next class? No, we're going to go to that other link, Penny. <clears throat> On Wednesday, Wednesday and Friday, typically we can just stay in this session. Monday, Tuesday, and Thursday are members only. They're on the calendar. I Even though I try to do members only Wednesday and Friday too, I leave myself some room to do things I need to do. But we usually have them anyway, but we just keep keep it going on Wednesday and Friday. Today being Thursday, we'll jump into the actual classroom. <clears throat> Any other questions? Y'all having fun? You enjoying it? Anything I can do to help you? Don't hesitate. That's what I'm here for. I'm at your service. Mm, appreciate it. The way you're asking it, um, no, um, we're not losing the website. That is a rumor. Um, I'm doing everything that I can to make sure that all lifetime members continue to have the Shibboleth website as long as I'm the custodian of it. 
and have the keys. And I do right now. So um, even though we're probably going to go through a brand change, uh, I will do everything in my power to honor the word that I gave thousands of people the last few years and keep it up. It'll cost me seven, eight hundred dollars a month to keep that website up. And I intend on doing it with the Lord's help and with my partner's help. Yes, there will be a new website. Yep. All partners and lifetime, uh, all partners, not lifetime members, all partners and faithfully fit members will automatically be able to log into the new website. Sound fair? No, no, I'm sorry. Email me, travisjack777 at gmail.com. We'll, we'll figure out what's fair. I'm your brother in Christ. I'm going to do what's reasonable and fair. Travisjack777 at gmail.com. Those that are here, you I don't know how long you've been here. I'd have to go look. But those that are here know I haven't went anywhere for 20 years. And I've been counted out for dead more than once. So I'm still here by the grace of God. And I'm your brother in Christ. I'm not going to hurt you. I'm only going to help you. Anybody else? Thank you, Sally. I'm not, and I promise I'm not laughing. I, I'm just, I, I just wished you knew me. Knew, knew that I wouldn't hurt you on purpose. You've been hurt so many times, probably. Okay, y'all, we're going to close out in prayer, and I'll see you in the other meeting. <clears throat> Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done in the earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day, Lord, our daily bread. Forgive us of our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. Amen. Thank y'all. See Travis, you another meeting. Uh -huh. um, I need to ask you a quick question before you go. I'm oh. sorry. I know you're very busy. You're good. Um, Someone sent me some Slim Hunger Control. It's black, oh, let me see. Dietary supplement, hunger control. Have you ever, yeah. Plexus, mm -hmm. it's got Plexus. It's Have fine. you ever heard of it? Yeah, I've heard of it. Yeah, it's fine. It won't hurt you. But it won't help me? I, don't help me. I haven't used it. I know there's a lot of Plexus people out there. It's a, it's a supplement that may help you. So I haven't used it, so I can't vouch for it. I know their products are decent products. They are. So, yeah, somebody yeah, someone, gave Yeah, someone sent me a whole bunch of them. Yeah, somebody sent me a freebie. I'd, I'd probably try it. Okay. It's, right. it's going it's, to, it is, all these companies kind of use the same stuff so it's kind of like advocare uh, advocare has a product called slim and it's basically doing the same thing oh our, yeah they sent me that remember. too slim yeah. they sent me slim uh yeah it, it they're they're decent slim microbial activation yeah they're advocare slim and plexus slim is about the same thing Oh, okay. Okay. All if right. I got free product, I'd take it. <laughs> okay. Well, I just, I, I didn't know. <laughs> I didn't good. know about it. All right. Thanks. All right. Um, I'll see you in another meeting. Bye, everybody. Bye.